Hey, so today I would like to talk about a 99 portal and a little bit more about number 9 and what it means numerologically and why is this portal important and what, and what you can do on this portal, what is supported. So um, 9 was actually a sacred number for the Egyptians. And it was actually because um, if you sum, like any number that you sum with number 9, the frequency is not going to change. For example, if you sum 1 and 9 is 10 and 1 plus 0 is 1 and then 2 plus 9 is 11 and again 1 plus 1, which is 11, is 2. So it's the same with every number. And actually, like numerologically, nothing changes. But it actually, in a way, in other way, does. And I'm going to explain the messages that I got, like why this number is so sacred and what is it presenting and what is then, because it's like two of nines, like, and then the frequency is even stronger, um, why, what is then supported. So number nine also represents, um, you know, the, the end of a cycle, karmic cycles and, uh, you know, the beginning of a new one. And what is it really like, because it's like you can feel like every soul, first that I explained that every soul have like this certain lessons that it came to learn here on earth. And so we can all see with each other that, um, you know, sometimes we feel like we have the same experiences, but it's just with different people and we have the, like the same feelings in our body. But actually, this is not true that it's totally the same. And you know that it's different person as well. But um, also... It's, you know, with every experience we learn more and we like learn all these different aspects about these lessons and what we have to learn about this energy. So it's really interesting, you know, to, um, to see that and to let go of this, um, like the, the belief that we had, you know, that it's always the same and then we approach to it like dramatically, but it's just like to knowing, oh, again, this is happening. So why is this happening? Like, what do I have to learn still? So it's not, it's the same feelings that we can have in our bodies, but if we are working on it, like every time we are gaining more knowledge, we are understanding it more, we understand our side, we understand why we attract these people. Like it's so many layers of it. And we can also, for example, you know, remember what has happened in our past lifetimes that it's connected with this energy and connected with these experiences. So every time we understand it more, we understand more layers and more influences. And because we are understanding it, we can change our reaction. We can change our actions of how, how we are acting in this situation. And this is actually learning. And this is what these nine, you know, represents and it's like a circle and it means that you know you came to the same point you know you came to the, the like you started here and when it's the end of the cycle you are at the same point and then you have the opportunity to decide where you're gonna go wanna go from there you know are you gonna go a step higher and you're gonna go still on the spiral like higher and higher or are you gonna gonna go, you know, in this drama and it's gonna be like downward spiral? We have we have or all, all heard about it. So what is really supported to do on the portal nine nine? It's like really to put in the universe to complete these cycles, you know, to complete what we want to complete in our life, like to have this completion, to have this closure. Like, what do you want for ourselves 
to end like what what do we want like where we want to end things and to, to begin something new because like with all of that like you i know that a lot of people had like this uh lessons lately as well because you know we are having all these like new options new opportunities and also you know i can see that for people is confusing when things are not dramatic and they want because they are so used to drama then they just want to create something dramatic in their life you know because then they know the situation and because they know it because it feels familiar then they feel you know like they have control over it so what i would like to put out here is for you, you like don't take the the um, um, decisions that are easier for you and the path the don't take the path that is easier for you but take the decisions that are right for you that are supporting you and the this the path that is right for you and even in the beginning maybe it's gonna be you know hard and because so many new things are going to be happening for you. It doesn't matter. You are doing this for yourself and you are going to be freer and happier. And this is actually the only way to be happy. Because, you know, if you are just in control and in this feeling of, you know, that you have like this um, false security and protection because you have like, everything under control you know and this doesn't feel like mean really feeling good with yourself in your body in your life it's about learning to be flexible to go with the flow you know with these cycles to be aligned with these cycles not that you are you know trying to run away from them and trying to extort thing you know things you just you don't want things to end but it's if it's time for things to end they are gonna end you know so it's also about accepting the endings it's accepting when the things die you know not that we are just you know being stubborn and just wanting things our way you know but this what I'm why I'm explaining this because this is mostly connected with relationships and with relationships we don't have you know um, it's it, it we don't have like this um, what is the word um, we cannot manipulate other people you know we don't have this right you know we don't have the right that everything in our life is gonna be our way Yes, when it depends on us, but not in relationships. We don't have the right to change people, to change the person, you know, um, and demand things our way. It's more about, you know, um, it's more about, um, you know, uh, just being your own self and accepting yourself and letting yourself to be yourself and letting the same to other people so for all of us for all the Gaia for everyone that are that is ready is really supported to, uh, like on this portal to really end things and to end these games and like all these things that we are participating in and we are in these patterns like really powerful patterns like from an our ancestors and it's a, an opportunity for us to end the cycle and to do things differently, to ask for the support, to pray for it. Um, so, yeah, this is what I wanted to share for today. And thank you for watching. And uh, I don't know, talk to you soon. Bye.